and you told me that everybody who wants to 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 go uh, uh, to, to go to leave the German Democratic Republic was punished in this not in this way that he goes to prison just for, right, for one month or two, but the female doctors they have to go on, on the very very outside in the providence, yeah? and the, the male doctors they 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 become um, military doctors as punishment. Yeah? And uh, so this novel by Hermann Broch and this story of this uh, doctor from G German Democratic Republic together gives me um, the first kick yeah? so for this um, uh, script. Um, other questions? Um, I was very curious about the choice of the Sheik song, At Last I Am Free, at the end. Could, which is a, a fantastic song, but I'm just curious as, as to why you why you chose that. Yeah, during the last 15 minutes of your screening, I, I heard my own movie, yeah? and I can't see a picture, uh -huh. and, uh, and then I expected the song by Schick. It was a very strange situation because I you can hear the audience of this live concert mm -hmm. from Schick and your your audience here yeah? <laughs> together. And I was so lonely in my room in this moment, and uh, and it was so. I, I read, I read uh, the top biography from um, Nile Rogers, yeah? mm -hmm. one of poses of this uh, um, song. It's one of my favorite songs, I must say. Yeah? And um, in, in his in his biography, he told us. Uh, he, write, he had written down this, a thing which happened in the 70s in the United States that I think during a baseball um, in the baseball stadium uh, the, the the DJ of this uh, baseball match uh, uh, said um, the, uh, about uh, said that on the next day all people uh, will bring their uh, will bring their disco records to the stadium oh, yes. so this is a, a famous anti-disco demonstration in San Francisco yeah, that's right that's right and he told and he said this is uh, the same thing that uh, like the the, the, the the things the Nazis had made with the books, yeah, mm -hmm. and to do the fire. He was, and uh, so he made what of this uh, uh, song at last I'm free. He makes a new version, yeah? and this is this light version, which changed into a gospel at least. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And for me, uh, everybody, everybody in Germany. So at, at each advertisement, each commercial, uh, they said the word freedom and be free, be free to choose your mind, your gas station, be free to choose your 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 restaurant or your your, your cell phone provider or something like that, and, uh, every, and everybody has forgotten what it is, what what uh, freedom is. It's it's a elementary feeling, yeah? mm -hmm. and at the end of this gospel version of a disco hit by Chick, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I feel it. I must say it a little, little bit hippie way now, or emotional way. When they said uh, to, f to see uh, the sun, to feel the air, like the, the, uh, the drops uh, come uh, down on everybody, or everyone, um, this is these are so simple, so great uh, terms. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was so excited to, to choose it at the end of the movie. The producer who said it's very expensive, and it, it was right. It is very expensive yeah, to, to choose it. Is that please let's take Nina Hoss, uh, uh, Chopin Nocturne, yeah, at, at, uh, uh, at the end of the movie uh, for the, uh, the credits, and uh, said no, no, this is then 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 uh, Barbara has won the, uh, the freedom by herself. Yeah. yeah? yeah. It, uh, if you use chick, yeah, it's something we have to fight for. Right. No. It's yeah. Yeah. It's a, in a very powerful way. Um, other questions. Yes, there's a gentleman here in the front. The ending of your film is very moving because she appears to sacrifice her own happiness and her own plans, in effect, to buy the life of one of her patients, Freedom. And the suggestion is made but it's only a suggestion that this may be because of her growing attraction to her fellow doctor, who we see her fleetingly embrace. But we're not sure. What was your intention here to leave us in terms of her final motivation? 
And this, this ending of this movie is the first ending I have lost control. Yeah? Uh, the, the, in, the, in the script, they have a little dialogue at the end, and the two actors throw this uh, the, the dialogue away. They just throw out the dialogue, yeah? and they are totally right. I have, I have the feeling, because we have to um, shoot this movie chronologically, yeah? and, uh, and it, it was uh, our last, uh, last two camera positions at, the, at this um, room in the, in the hospital, from the, those two. And um, I, I had the feeling that, that all, all explana ex explanations, what, um, uh, uh, all meanings, uh, uh, what I have uh, what I have had, it, will, would she stay there? Will she stay there because of love thing? Which, uh, because perhaps as a sacrifice that, that she sacrifice herself or something like that. Like that. And I can't find the re the, the right answer. Yeah? For me, my feeling was that those two, yeah? uh, this uh, this doctor and Barbara together, Andre and Barbara together, for me was this feeling that they will build up a new society. Mm. And I'm not a part of the society. They open a the door, they go away. They have to make a, they they ground and found a new a, a new society. Perhaps a little bubble for two or three, four or five persons, but but they try it. Yeah? And this has nothing to do with the happy end love thing, yeah? because I don't know if they will have sex together or they will have children or so. For me, it was a. a Political seduction, uh, a political erotic in this uh, in this last um, um, eye contact. What they have, yeah? is they they are not crying. They are breathing. They are very loud. Yeah? I was very astonished about because this is original uh, sound. Yeah? They are they are both as uh, they are breathing as if some some really big tension is inside their bodies. And uh, I was so totally impressed uh, that uh, after everybody's going, everybody from the team and all the actors after this last uh, uh, sh uh, sh uh, shoot, they, they go away. Everybody wants to be for, him, for himself and I never have uh, made this experience before. It's something to do with, uh, there is a fantastic movie by Helmut Keutner, a German, German director from the 40s, and he made a new movie during the, the last days of Berlin, uh, 1944, 1945. Um, under the bridges, the German title, the German title is Unter den Brücken. At, at least two men and one girl are leaving Berlin. Um, you don't know which direction, but you have the feeling that they go away not to 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 be a family or a love couple. They go away to found a new society. This is a dream within the national, uh, within the fascist system, which has a breakdown. A little little bubble <coughs> of survive, survival uh, of perhaps socialistic ideas uh, 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 will never die. A little bit like this, for me, was the feeling at the end. Um, other questions? Uh, yes, Jennifer in the center. Hi, and thank you very much uh, for this wonderful film. I think um, it had a very strong emotional. Uh, um, pulse for me, and I. My question is um, whether, when when you see your films finished at the end, and you you're watching them, and I I trust that you watch them from time to time, whether you continue to be analytical about them, or whether you are absorbed uh, emotionally as well, because they're very very strong, impacting emotional films, and I wonder whether you what what your feelings are when you see them. I see. I've seen all my movies once at the premiere, yeah? and then I can't see them for many, many years again. Yeah? But uh, but then after two or three years, I try to see them again because the first one or one and a half year after I finished the movie, when when I when I watch them, uh, it's a little bit uh, like a narcissistic um, thing. I see so many mistakes, and to, to see mistakes is also very na narcissistic. Oh, I, had, I could done it, uh, did it better, and so on, something like that. Yeah. But then, um, but yeah, it, um, uh, for for me, uh, Barbara was a little bit. Uh, um, uh, there's another another thing around Barbara. That sometimes some, it has something to do with the the end. What I talk in uh, my answer from the last the last question, that 
for me, the, the story, the plot, the emotional waves, also the actors and their moves and their behaviors have changed so that, they, that I lost the control. And therefore, I could see the movie better than other movies where I have, I think, always I have the control before. I was a little bit like a, this Alfred Hitchcock controller. No? <laughs> and, then, and in this movie, I was a little bit, uh, nah, I would say, uh, François Truffaut a little bit more, huh? the sound. Huh? Uh, other questions? This uh, gentleman in the back? <clears throat> Uh, following up in what you just said about building up in the society, <clears throat> could you talk a little bit about the reception of your film in Germany today? Yes. Um, tomorrow I have to go to uh, the East German uh, town Leipzig and uh, uh, I will receive their prize and uh, I have to work, uh, work uh, to, for some words. I have to speak in front of the uh, audience tomorrow. And uh, I, then I, I remember that half a year ago, Leipzig was our first station of our promotional promotion tour. And we all, yeah, Nina and Ronnie and me, we are very, very anxious because uh, two of us are from the West. We have made a movie yeah, about the East. Yeah? And so many movies from the West with West money and West, uh, West German directors have made uh, those, um, have used the subject East to a German Democratic Republic as a little bit imperialistic, I must say. The winners of the history yeah? uh, make, make a movie and uh, they use them a little bit. Yeah? And so we are, we are anxious and the reaction was very, very interesting because the people are said, uh, uh, always very emotional, the audience said, it, it, it was exact uh, 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 like in the movie, the, 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 the Stasi or the police and the officers and the, 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 the fear in this country. And the other, the other group said, uh, the first movie I, uh, I, I've seen that uh, where you can see the German Democratic Republic as a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's a good country. Like a, not a paradise, but you can live there very, very good. There is no finance crisis. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There was no finance crisis. In the hospitals you have four... Um, for doctors for, um, to one patient, yeah? and uh, it was socialist, uh, the socialistic alternative was very good and it was destroyed by the West. Yeah? And so we have both reactions, and this I like very much. We have many, many uh, very tensioned and suspensioned uh, discussions there. Yeah? Other questions? Uh, yes, one here in the black. Yes, I'll just wait for the microphone. Uh, what, speak, please speak into the microphone. There is a, an excellent um, sequence when the two girls, you know, Barbara and the, well, let's call it the hooker, you know, in the in the room, they meet with the champagne and all that. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, but it's, it's, the, it's a parallelism you're doing because Barbara, in a way, is like a kept woman, you know, with this guy with the Mercedes Benz <laughs> and getting all the presents and all that. So you know from that moment on that that she cannot follow. And besides, he offers, you don't have to work and she takes pride in her uh, career. So you know that definitely it's not a sacrifice that he, she will end up loving this man, the doctor, right? Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> totally right. So the, the sentence, in, uh, what the what this West Germany guy said to her, uh, um, you don't have to work. I have. I earn enough money for the for the two of us. This sentence, my co-author Harun Faraki and I, we want to to um, erase because it's it's um, too pathetic, perhaps a little bit, or too, <laughs> uh, too theatrical. Yeah? And uh, then all women who uh, who have. Uh, um, lived in the German Democratic Republic uh, said, you're crazy. crazy, this is the most important sentence because this is the relation yeah? and this is the male imperialism yeah? what you can, uh, and it's, it's a male imperialism who, who, uh, who, who looks hedonistic yeah? who said you don't have, you can sleep the whole time through, yeah? <laughs> but uh, in reality uh, in, uh, uh, there are so many West German uh, women 
who are living in suburbs and the Aiden uh, girls coming and uh, they, they can choose some things from the internet yeah, and they have, can make a Tupperware party yeah, but uh, and uh, could be soccer bombers later yeah, but um, they are not free yeah? and the, the women in the German Democratic Republic they worked yeah, and they uh, are really really equal to their male uh, um, colleagues yeah? uh, and, and and this is, was very important. And the other thing is, everybody who is a doctor in the German Democratic Republic is also um, a member of a class, of a bourgeoisie. Yeah? And in this hotel room, there's, there is a little girl, I think she's a um, she's hairdresser or something like that, this prostitute girl. Yeah? And both women are sitting on the bed with a champagne glass. Yeah? And both are in this situation. And, uh, they are, uh, there is no class anymore. Both are women, and uh, the men are the people. Uh, are, are this uh, the people who, who have uh, the power? Uh? And this in, in this moment, uh, I think Barbara knows that there is no alternative to change uh, the place and go over the border to the best capitalistic system. Sadly, that's all the time that we have.